hope your day is going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me. I'm back again to share a project with you. This time we're going to make a Valentine coffee card. I love this die set here. It's called Winter Latte. It's from the Say It With Stamps collection. It comes with the mittens that are holding the coffee cup that you can create. Um, but the sky is really the limit. It could be holding a fancy coffee. There's a candy cane, a heart, a little scarf that can go around the cup cozy. And I thought we would use this on our card today along with the Say It With Stamps XOXO Smooches stamp set and the coordinating die set. So kind of it could be a Valentine's Day card. It just could be a just because. And then I'm also going to bring in a stencil from Photoplay Paper. This belongs to the DIY Home Collection. And it has a nice brick pattern for my background. And I thought we'd use this in our card today. So we're going to start by doing a little bit of die cutting. Since we're doing a Valentine's Day themed, I picked out some reds and pinks. And then um, for the cup cozy, I thought we'd bring in some craft cardstock. Let's start by taking our pink, our darker pink cardstock, and we're going to use the scarf that's in our die set. There's, it's a three-piece set here, and we will die cut out a scarf with that. There's a candy cane, but I'm not going to use it for um, its intended purpose. I'm actually going to flip it around to create. Um, a straw, and I'll do that with red cardstock. I'm going to cut two of these out. Um, we have this cup cozy. I'll die cut out with pink cardstock, but I mentioned also we're going to cut that out with the craft cardstock. We have a heart. We'll cut out with the red. We have some whipped cream for a fancy coffee. I'll cut that out with white cardstock along with some steam. I'm going to cut the steam out a few times because we're going to layer it for a little bit of dimension. We have the cup top. We'll cut out with white cardstock. And then for our cup portion, I'm going to use a pale gray cardstock. And I want to create two cups of two cups of coffee, so we're going to die cut out two of these. Okay, for my black cardstock, I went ahead and took out the smooches die. We're going to cut this three times with black cardstock. We're going to layer them together for a little bit of dimension. And then I have some vellum that I'll die cut out the shadow with. We're going to, these two hearts here came from the XOXO Smooches die set. We're going to cut these out as well. So I'm going to cut the wider one with pink, the light pink, and then the more narrow one with the dark pink. And I do also want a circle for one of my cup cozies. So I brought in a circle die from my stash and I'm going to cut this out with the great cardstock also. I have a little bit of die cutting to do. I'm going to run everything through my die cut machine and I will be right back. I have everything die cut out, and we're going to start by creating our greeting, our smooches here. So I, what we're going to do is stack all three of these together, and I'm going to use my glue. We'll just flip this around. We'll add some glue behind here. We're going to layer this directly on the vellum first, and then we're going to stack the rest of these on top here. Okay, and then we'll just layer these together. And we have a little bit of dimension. We're going to build our first fancy coffee. I had brought in some foam squares because we're going to add a little bit of dimension to the scarf that we're going to add to this cozy. For this one, I put foam tape down here, but before we adhere it, I'm going to add a little glue to this side here, and we're going to tuck this piece right underneath here. So it's hanging out just a little bit. And then I'll take this and we're going to add this to our, our cozy. 
And then with this piece, I'm going to add a little glue at the very top. I'm going to kind of curl up the end here. And we're going to add this. And that is our little scarf. Very easy to put together. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue to this coffee cup. And then we'll go ahead and tack this down. Okay, we have our whip topping. I'm going to add a little bit of glue on the very back and we're going to tack this down right over the top of our coffee mug. In the whipped cream here, there's a little slit and that's where our little candy canes are going to come in. But rather than going right side up as a candy cane, I'm going to flip it upside down and I'm going to push it through that slit that's in the whipped cream and we'll pull it up and then we have a cute little straw. With this one, I'm going to go on the back side here. I'm going to add a little glue and we'll tack this down. Okay, and this coffee cup is all good to go. I'm going to put this off to the side. For my next one, for this cozy, this is where the circle will come in. I'm going to go ahead and add some glue. We're going to tack this down in the middle here. I put a foam square behind the heart. This is going to go right in the center of the circle. I'm going to, we're going to flip this around. I'm going to add some glue behind here. And I love the ridges on there. We're going to go ahead and add this to the front of our second coffee cup. I'm going to add a thin bead of glue at the very top here, and then we're going to add our, our the top of our coffee cup here. And that coffee cup is good to go. One more thing, I did die cut out those steam swirls I mentioned earlier. We are going to go ahead and layer these together, just like we did the smooches. I want a little bit of dimension to these. So we're going to add some glue, and we're going to layer three of these together. So now our steam swirls have a little bit of dimension to them. We're going to put these off to the side, and then I'm bringing in our stamp set. I'm going to be using the Love You that's in our stamp set. I'm going to stamp this with some black ink. And then I'm going to use my sentiment strip dies and we will cut this out here. We'll just line this up and run this through the die cut machine. So I have the Love You that we stamped and cut out, and using my glue, I'm going to add a little bit over here, and I'm going to add this to the heart. I want it to offset just a little bit. I think that's going to work out great. Now I'm going to put everything to the side, and then we're going to work on our background with our DIY Home Edition stencil. I thought I'd do a little bit of masking, so I'm going to bring in my post-it note tape. You could use masking paper if you want. I'm going to place the straight edge on the edge of my cardstock here. And then I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. And I'm going to trim one quarter inch strips. And let's start here, and then I'm going to trim a quarter inch, and another quarter inch, quarter inch, and a quarter inch. So we have four quarter inch strips, and you can keep this, um, this extra piece, you could just put it back on your, your roll, and then with these, I'm going to directly adhere them to my card base. So we have four quarter inch strips. What we're going to do is take that masking tape 
And we're going to do a little stenciling directly on our card base. And I'm going to go ahead and line this up all the way to the left. I'll take another strip. We'll put it on the very bottom. We'll do the top. And then I will add this to the left. Basically what we're doing is framing. Next I'll take my stencil. I'm not going to bother taping it down because I'm just going to do certain areas in the background. I'm going to use a dark gray ink and a blending brush. And we'll pick up some ink here. And I'm going to start like on this corner on top and just add a little bit of shading. And then I'll go on the bottom here. I'm kind of hit and missing and light and darking. Um, and then we'll do this side. Maybe a little down here. Okay, and I think that's going to work out great. I kind of like the distressed look of this. And then what we can do is remove our masking tape remove and then we have a framed in background directly on our card base now we're going to put all of these together in our background i am going to use some foam tape on the back side here Next, we're going to add our steam squirrels. We're going to add them just above this coffee cup here. Just so everything is nice and level. I don't think you'll be able to see it behind the vellum. But let's go ahead and remove the release paper here. And then I'm going to add some thin drops of glue just behind the greeting on the upper portion because that's going to hit the coffee, the bottom of the coffee mugs. We'll go ahead and add this. The very bottom. Kind of centering it. Okay, and then we have these cute little hearts. I am going to put some small foam squares behind here. And then we'll add these hearts over here. Kind of spreading out that pink. Now I'm going to finish off my card by adding a little bit of glaze. I'm using my glossy accents and I want to go over the hearts here just for a little extra shine. I'm also going to go over the straw here. And then that will finish off my card today. A super fun Valentine card. Great for anyone, actually. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a fabulous day. And we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.